Hi, this is James Crenshaw, Flower Bluff High School principal, making a little video here in a company to this uh, document that we're going to send out to help students know what they need to do these few days leading up to the first day of school and also what to do and what to expect on the first day of uh, virtual school. So students, here goes. One of the very first things that we need you to do is go to Google uh, on the internet and make sure that you could sign on to your school Google account. When you go to Google and you go in and sign on, you'll know you're signed on because your initials will, will be right here in this little circle. Once you're signed on, there will also be a little set of tiles here. When you click on those tiles, it opens up. Uh, let me get down to this area. It opens up this area right here where all of the uh, apps for Google are. Right now, the most two important apps for you are this Gmail app and this Google Classrooms app. First things first, you need to make sure that you're able to sign on to your Gmail. Teachers right now are loading you into their Google Classrooms, and when they do, it sends an email to you, to your um, school Gmail. You go to that and then you accept that and that's how you get loaded into these classes. So after you do your, your emails and you accept all those classes, then when you go to Google Classroom, you should see all of your classes there loaded and you'd be ready to go. A few reminders. One, your student ID for this at flowerbluffschools.org, that is your ID for, for Google, your school Google account. And your password is what you had already in there uh, last year. So many of you will be able to sign right on. But if you need help, you can email the help desk here at flowerbluffschools.net so that you can get on. So first things first, don't wait till the first day of school. Do it now. Make sure that you can get onto your Gmail and you accept the invitation to all those Google Classrooms. Once you've done that, then we're well on our way. The very next thing you need to do is access student portal via student uh, Skyward Student Access. This link right here will get you there. Also, you need to know that there's a Skyward app. You could go to the App Store and download it, and I think it would be really important for you to do that. You can you can hit this from your computer, but it's also will be nice for you to have it on your phone. So remember, there's an app for that. Um, when you log on here at Student Portal, your username is different. It's not your ID, it's your first name, dot last name. For example, Assistant Principal Medley, hers would be Linda.Medley. And like I said, your password here uh, should be your password that you already had, but it's been summertime and it, it wouldn't be unusual if you forgot your password if you haven't been there. So just remember, you can reset your password here. This is the screen that you go to when you go to this, um, this link. This will pop up and it's where you could sign on. But at the bottom of it, right down here, you can't see it quite uh, good here. But right here, there's a forgot your password. You can click on that and you can reset your password. So at this point, you should have your Google password all done, be able to have access to your G uh, Gmail and also have access to your Google Classrooms. Once you're in Student Portal, it's important because you will start to be able to do some things there. Once you sign on, there'll be some messages that for now, some that I've pushed out uh, for you to see, but in the future, it'll be where your teachers will push things out for you to see important messages on this first page. Well, over here, there's a little plus sign. When you click on that plus sign and you go down here, it will open this up. And if you notice, your grades are there, your attendance is there, your student info is there. Hopefully, when you click on this discipline tab, by the end of the year, there'll be nothing there because that's the kind of students you are. But right now, focus on your schedule. When you click on schedule, it will open up your schedule. And here in term one, that will be your schedule. All of these should also be in Google Classroom. This is the way that you double check and make sure that the classes that you have in Google Classroom are the ones that are on your schedule. So that's very important. If you are missing 
uh, period or you have C counselor in any of these periods, here are the counselors by alpha last name that you would contact. Just send them an email and they will contact you to fix your schedule. So that's very important. Once you've, once you've got that going, then it's ready for the first day of school. And I want to give you just a little bit of information about the first day of school. We have an A and a B week that we're doing. Okay, and it makes sense that we would start with the A week, but we're not starting with the A week. This first two days of school, we're starting with the B week. And here's why. Let me show you. You get down here, the first day of school, we need for you to be in first, second, and third period. We don't want you to start with fourth, fifth, and sixth period. So we're starting with B week. You'll go to your Google Classroom and you'll participate with first period, second period, third period. Then this first day, you won't worry about these classes. Your teachers are going to explain more what's going on with those classes. Friday of the first week, you're going to go to fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh period. So by the time you've gone through Thursday and Friday that first week, you will have cycled through all of your classes. Everything should be good to go. If you're having troubles, you can drop me an email. You can drop your assistant principal an email. You can drop your counselor an email. It's just real important that you take responsibility for the fact that you have the, a full schedule and that that full schedule is also in Google Classroom. After that, it's smooth sailing all the way. So students, I want to just give you a few reminders here that's real important. If you were here, we'd be having class meetings and we'd be talking about how important attendance is. Well, guess what? Attendance is important here too. These classes, if you are absent for these classes, you are literally marked absent. And the truancy laws and the laws regarding whether you can get credit, whether you can get your driver's license, all of that stuff, it applies just like you were here. If you're absent, your parent needs to email us a note and I've given them instructions about how to do that. Make sure you're here. Attendance matters. Next, grades. What your teachers assign you are grades that you're gonna be held accountable for and they are gonna go on your permanent record. When it's time to get back over here and start averaging grades, those grades are your start. And if you start strong, you have a tendency to finish strong. So please take grades very, very seriously. Attendance and grades. Once we're to this point, I think in a few days, things will smooth out. We'll get used to uh, this routine and everything should be okay. We, we learned how to do it last semester. So I think we're gonna do it even better this time. My hope is that very soon we're all here, we're back, we're doing the things that we love to do and, and having a great time. But in the meantime, we have to take this seriously and make sure that uh, we get off to a great start. I'm looking forward to seeing you out there in uh, classes, even though it's online, and interacting with you and making sure that you have uh, a good start to your school year. So we'll see you out there on Thursday, August the 13th. Don't procrastinate. Get your Google going, get your Skyward going, and make sure that your classes are all there loaded up. I'll send this to you and your parents so you have something to reference. Okay, take care of yourselves. We'll talk to you soon.